Hello everyone. My name is Ali Akbar. Today I am going. I am back again with the next lecture on determinants. Today we are going to study about how we can denote certain operations that are performed on rows and on columns of the determinants. So let's get started. When we work with determinants, it is convenient to convert one determinant into another by performing certain operations on row and on columns. To denote them in a precise form, we shall use some symbols. We are going to study that now. The first and the foremost symbol that we are going to study is which one? Is denoted by R I to C I, where R is basically row and C is our column. We shall use this symbol if we want to convert every row into the corresponding column. So when we want to perform an operation where we want to convert every row of that determinant into the column of the determinant, then we use this kind of symbol. Let us take an example. Let us take a determinant which has the value as one, two, three, four, five, seven. 5, 1, 2. Okay. Now, if I want to perform this operation of Ri to Ci, then our new determinant, let us denote it by d dash. Then our new determinant will be converted into which form? First, this operation is basically used to convert every row of the determinant into every column, right? So, what are the rows of our determinant? This one this one and this one right so we are going to convert our first row into the first column so we will write the elements of first row that are one two and three as our first column second thing our second row the elements of our second row are four five and seven so we are going to write that element in the second column of our new determinant and our third row, the elements of our third row is 5, 1, 2. So we are going to write it in the third column of our new determinant. So whenever you are performing this kind of operation, you have to denote it with this symbol. Good. Moving forward. Next. The next operation that we can perform on the determinant can be denoted by R, I, J or C. I J where R is basically what? R is our row and C is our column, right? One important thing in this notation is that I does not equal to G. Good. Now, if we want to interchange the Ith and the Jth row. Okay, of a determinant, let us take a determinant as a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2, a3, b3, c3. Now in this in this determinant, if we want to interchange the ith row, or let us take the first row, okay. If I want to change the ith row and j th row, we shall use this symbol. Meaning, let us perform an operation, then you will understand it. Let us consider an operation, let us say R23. Right now, if we want to interchange the second row of our determinant with the third row of our determinant, then we have to denote it with respect to this symbol. So, our new determinant at that time will become what? Our first row is what? This one. It will remain as it is right now in our uh, if we are performing this kind of operation then our second row will become the third row our third row is what a3 b3 c3 so I will write all the elements of the third row in the second row again uh, we are interchanging the third row with the second row so what are the elements of the second row a2 b2 c2 So this is how you denote this operation with this symbol.
this also this is also applicable for all the column operations for example if i want to perform column operation c21 on the given let us take a determinant same determinant a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 now in the same given determinant if i want to perform the operation c21 what does it mean we are interchanging the second column of this determinant with its first column of this determinant right so what are the second uh, elements of the second column right b1 b2 b3 what are the elements of the first co column a1 a2 a3 and our third column remains as it is the next symbol of operation that we are going to discuss now is denoted by R I K or C I K, where R and C are our rows and columns, respectively, right? I is basically the number of that row or the number of that column on which you are doing the operation, and K is basically a real number without the zero value. Now in order to denote the symbol of multiplying all elements of ith row or column by k we use this following symbols you will understand this by an example let us take an example let us perform an operation r 1 3 okay where 1 is basically our ith row and 3 is basically the value for k let us perform this operation on determinant d which has the value a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 now when we perform this operation this operation means that we are multiplying the value 3 with all the elements of row 1 of our given determinant so our new determinant will become as we are multiplying row 1 with value 3 so our new element for row 1 will be 3a1 3b1 3c1 good and rest the element rest the rest of the elements of the determinants remains the same so this is how you denote the symbol for multiplying any value with any i yet uh, with all the elements with all the elements of any i8 row or i8 column same thing is applicable if we perform the application let us say uh, if we perform the operation let us say c32 on the same given determinant then our new determinant will become what our first column will remain same because it is uh, we are uh, doing the operation on the third column and we are multiplying with it with respect with a value 2 so our second column will remain same and our third column will become what we'll multiply the all the elements of the third column with two so this is the answer that you get when you perform this kind of operation and another type of operation that we can perform on the given determinant can be denoted by r of i j k or C I J K where R and C are our basically our rows and column of our determinant I means the I eight row J means the J eight row where I and J are not equal K is basically the real number right now this symbol is used for the operation of multiplying each elements of the i eight row by a known zero real number k and adding its element to the corresponding elements of the j eight row. Let us take an example. Let us take a determinant d 
which has uh, elements like a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 where a i b i c i are basically what are all real numbers right okay now if i want to perform an operation on this one let us say if i want to perform an operation like this on the given determinant then how we should do it see so what new determinant will be given by c what is the rule for this symbol we multiply this real number with the all the elements of the third row okay so let us do that first what is the real number 2 so we are multiplying all the elements of third row with the real number 2 okay the next thing after that we do is what we add this value of the row 3 to the row 1 so our final value for our given determinant will become what a1 plus of 2 times a3 b1 plus of 2 times b3 c1 plus 2 times c3 we are just adding this third row to the first row as per the operations that we that we have defined earlier and all the other elements will remain as it is this is just an intermediate stage that i wanted to inform you so that uh, this is not the final value for the row tree so row tree will remain as it is we are just adding it with with the value of row 1 the same thing is applicable with the column operation let us take a column operation similar color operation let us do uh, column operation c1 2 and we multiply it with 3 now let us take a determinant as a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 now if we are performing this operation on this determinant what does it mean it means that we are multiplying the value 3 with the first column of our determinant so our first column of determinant will become what 3a1 3a2 3a3 right and then we are adding this all elements of the new column or else of the first column into the second column so our new determinant will become what it will stay as it is in the first column our second column will become what b1 plus 3a1 b2 plus 3a2 b3 plus 3a3 and our third elements of the third column will remain as it is so this will be our finest final value for the operation that is uh, for the operation c123 the different operation the different symbols for the different operation that we have studied today are first we studied if we want to interchange all the rows with respect to all the column of the given determinant right second operation the uh, second symbol that we have studied for a different operation is r i j or c i j where we interchange the i8 and j8 row right third operation that we have studied was r i k where if i want to multiply any real number which doesn't have a value of zero with any row or with respect to any element of any row or column and the last operation that we last symbol for the operation that we have studied was r i g k or c i j k where now this symbol is used for the operation of multiplying each element of the i -th row or i -th column with a non-zero real number and adding its value to the j -th row or the j -th column of the given determinant okay so these are the four symbols that we have studied so far today
that's it for today's class i hope you all understood how to denote certain operations that are performed on rows and columns of the determinants in the next lecture we are going to study about certain properties of determinants so before going to the properties of determinants uh, make sure that you perfect all of these symbols thank you very much for staying and listening to my lecture if you have any doubts related to related to this topic or any other topic then please feel free to ask us in the comment section below or you can email us your queries on our email id oats institute at oats institute at gmail dot com. If you did like our effort, then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and share our lecture with your colleagues and friends. Thank you. See you all in the next lecture. Till then, have a nice day.